Hello everyone, I am Nilesh and I welcome you all to this channel, my research support and today in this video I will be discussing about an excellent AI tool that will help you a lot in writing your literature review article and also the literature review section of your research paper and thesis. So let's start. So the AI tool that we will use today is SciSpace and you have to open this link typeset.io. So SciSpace is actually a product of this typeset.io, it has two products first is SciSpace and second is typeset.io itself so this SciSpace helps in writing literature review article while this typeset.io helps in formatting your research and review papers according to journal formats so the most important part that I like about this SciSpace is this part you can see here in the bottom side you will have this option browse papers and this SciSpace has a huge database, it is around 151.3 million research papers published in between 1800 to 2024. It also has an access of the recent literature that is the most important thing and you can also download these research papers. Now let us back to the home. So it has multiple features you will be able to see here literature review, co-pilot ready with AI, citation generator, paraphraser, AI detector. But today we'll be discussing about these two points, literature review and co-pilot read with AI, as I personally like these two features of this size space. So let us first discuss about this literature review. So you have to click on that. And now what you will do is, for example, if you want to write in a literature review article or research paper on any specific topic so let us consider one broad example so if this is the topic so whenever you will search for that topic then you will get some recommendations many research articles you will also find some recent literature as well and here you will have some options that you can only bifurcate the research articles those have means you can download the pdf or open access top tier papers you can sort out and few more filters are also there so for example if you want to download this research paper so you have to simply click on this pdf so once you do that you will see the research article is now downloaded so in this way from this da database you will be able to download the research articles as well and let us come to this part so whenever you will search for a specific topic then a default you will get default summary for top five papers means this first five papers then you can delete this first five papers so that you will get a summary for next five papers so you will get this references here as well so you may use this text maybe in your literature review paper or maybe in the literature review part of your research paper or thesis but obviously you have to check it for the plagiarism as well or similarity okay so this is the first part and the second part you can see here so insights conclusions means for example if you want to read this research paper so what i'll recommend you is first just download this research paper go through that research paper once so and then you can come back to these points for example if you need some insights so you'll get the insights here you can just copy this text maybe in your notes here also you'll have this notebook so either you can copy here or you can just copy maybe in your word file so if you want key conclusions then here you will have this different sections conclusions then you have this option results methods used limitations practical implications okay you have a few other columns like literature review contribution summarized introduction so everything that you will get to know within the single interface for every research article now one more important point you may have these options to add these columns manually for example if i want to include one graph in my review article 
which may be representing applications versus number of research articles i have this number of research articles but applications i don't have it so simply what you will do is you can put here as applications and you can create column so once you do that so this applications column will be added and you will see this it is showing that mg based bulk metallic glasses have potential applications in biomedical sector okay you can see this but there won't be any application here for this research paper so it depends if this research article has mentioned about anything about application then only this ai tool will, will fetch that information otherwise you won't get any information so in this way i can count this number of articles okay maybe 20 30 40 and different applications and in that way i may prepare a graph maybe on x axis applications and y axis number of research articles so in this way to prepare multiple graphs you will consider this information practical implications maybe limitations method use etc and obviously you have to little brainstorm yourself so that you will critically analyze these points and based on that to improve your presentations you can have different concepts and you can convert those concepts into different graphs and on the other side you can also include this information as it is maybe in your research papers maybe in your literature review articles but obviously as we have discussed you have to confirm its similarity when you will do that but the most important thing is when you compare this with chart gpt we get information from chart gpt with no proper citations even though we get some citations but still most of the times these citations will be inaccurate so this is really an excellent information this is the perfect accurate information which has faced from this research paper so obviously you can put this research paper as a citation means you know that from where you have taken this information so that is the main important thing so along with this you may get different options and features like you, if you want to cite this research paper you have that option this option you can click on this so that you can directly copy this text and you can put this text in your research papers so you can go through all these options one by one so that you can better understand this interface now i'll be discussing one more feature which is copilot read with ai so if you have already downloaded research articles or if you want to read a specific research paper then in that case yes you can upload that research paper here for example this is the research paper that i have uploaded so there is a possibility that you may not find specific research articles on this database obviously it is not even possible so in that case if you have those research articles you can upload these research articles here and you can read these research articles okay so here again you have this multiple options like if you want the information about future scope then you have to write it and you can ask it to this co-pilot so this will analyze this research article and will fetch some information about the future scope again if you want to identify the gap maybe for example if you are selecting or you want to select a specific topic so that you will be reading different research papers so you may ask about the research gaps of this paper or maybe limitations so you'll see here research gaps in HAP coating on magnesium based materials so these are the research gaps then next maybe if you want to read a specific section of this research paper if the introduction section is a considerably lengthy so you may ask as summarized introduction so that you will get a summary of this introduction so that you can go through that summary so this is a summary of the introduction section so in this way this co-pilot feature make it easy to read the research papers so obviously i'll recommend you to first go through that research paper and then come back to this co-pilot feature then it will be more easy and this will speed up the literature review process so whichever papers you will add you'll find these papers here in this library so this is the option for example i have added 
one research paper so you'll find here i have my first notebook so this is a kind of overview of this literature review and copilot ready with ai there are multiple options features in, are available inside these two options so until and unless you will use it you won't get expertise in this but believe me this interface is really very simple and before you start using it you have to first sign up because i have already set up my account and hence i'll be directly using it so the sign up process is again very simple you have to follow that so that you'll be able to create your account and then you can use it and i am sorry but the most important thing is this is not a free ai tool means with free account you have some limited access and thereafter you need to upgrade to the premium version but i have some discount coupons those i have provided in this video description with these coupons you may get some additional discount so thank you very much for watching this video and i hope this information will help you so please do not forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so i'll see you in my next video bye bye